All right, y'all. So I'm not very patient, you know. So we basically is going to get into this. What love are you attracting? Now, this is a high vibrational reading. And I know that it's retrograde and shit like that. And, um, you know, but we're going to basically, if I pick up on any energy about some karmic ass motherfuckers, I'm just going to turn it into what? Something high vibrational so you can learn from it and get closer to your true love. All right. And we're not talking about no twin flame bullshit. We're talking about high vibrational shit. All right. Don't nobody want that toxic twin flame shit. Anyway, you know that six piles. Do what you do. And I'll see you at your pile. All right. You feel that cleansing energy real good. So, here's the love that you are manifesting. Basically, you are manifesting a love where you can openly talk about your concerns. Like, this is the kind of love where you'll be able to talk about your past. And you know how in the past, a narcissist will be like, well, I'm not your past. And I feel like you just projected onto me. You going to be able to actually talk in deep depth about like, okay, you know, I experienced this in the past and I want to talk about this because uh, in the past there was no boundaries and when I try to talk about certain things to establish boundaries, I was cut off. So this is a relationship where you're going to be able to establish boundaries because with this two of space, I'm not picking up is somebody trying to cause you confusion. I feel like this going to be somebody who's not used to having someone openly discuss boundaries in relationships. And I feel like this is going to be a seed planted within them where they're going to start to realize, you know what, I need to set boundaries in my own life, in more areas of my life. And with this king of wands being here and things like that, this is a person who is highly psychic and I feel like you might get triggered like it's someone from your past. So this is why you're going to be setting boundaries. And I don't really feel like it's going to start off like it's on some, you know, romantic shit. I feel like it's going to start like a sun real, um, 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 real like, let me get some energy because I don't like, you know, um, it's like people going out of their way to see what you doing. So this is somebody who um is like, I heard stalking. So basically, what I'm picking up for power one, you're going to basically learn from stalker behavior how to set healthy boundaries. That's why I'm saying you attracting this high vibrational person who gonna be like, I'm so glad we talked about boundaries because I did not know the importance of it because there's a stalker watching you and um, cause they don't know how to mind their own business. All right. They see that you healing and you attracting somebody long term. I got to put that out there because somebody might be like, oh, they coming right now. They can, No, somebody long term who's going to be like, let's talk about some boundaries because I've experienced the narcissist myself. That's it, y'all. All right. So, pile two. What love you are attracting into your life is friendship, like real, genuine friendship. I'm really picking up that you haven't really had a lot of honest friends and things like that. So, you haven't had a lot of happy moments. So, you are actually attracting long-term friends. And it's not going to be like some movie type shit where there's no realism that, you know, when I say realism, I'm talking about like what you need to keep for your, to maintain your chakras. I mean, like this is the realism where 
you can openly understand and discuss what you have experienced in false friendships and be able to pace yourself the way you need to and want to be able to when talking about your vulnerabilities. You won't have somebody who's coercing you and manipulating you to um share your vulnerability so they can exploit it and trauma bond to you. You won't have someone of and this could be same sex who's basically trying to act like they're your friend so they can get your sexual energy because this happening a lot so i guess i'm picking up on this because maybe there's a friend of me trying to get close to you so they can develop a relationship with you so what you can take from this situation here is that you are going to learn to shut that shit down or maybe you already have and long term, you're attracting a long term friendship where it's safe for you guys to go at your own pace. And there won't be no like sheep mentality where if I wear red, you got to wear red. If, you know, I do my hair a certain way, we got to dress and look like twins. It's going to be some if you want some moody ass shit and you want to be in your room all day and, you know, they want to. You know, go skateboarding. You ain't got to worry about that person planning and plotting behind your back. Okay? This is a person, when they say they're going to be there, they're going to be there. You may not see them when you want, but they always come when they need to be there. All right, so welcome, pal three. So let's look at the uh, love that you guys are attracting. Alrighty, so you are attracting. I need to take some time to slow down. <laughs> hmm. You are attracting self love, deeper, unconditional self love, Pile 3. This is so beautiful. I'm going to be honest with you guys because I really feel that. Even though you guys have high self-respect and you guys are representing this very God or goddess-like energy, there is just still this energy of individuals who just want to deplete your energy, um, take from your finances. They want to cause confusion and they want to um, basically be working on basically... Uh, getting you into a state of complete, utter confusion. You guys are just realizing that I love myself too much to subject myself to such bullshit. And so your self-love is going to increase on such a deep level that when you really wake up every morning and you're, you know, are aware of people having these things, these ideologies towards you, you ain't going to take it personal. You're going to just be like, and how you feel about yourself and trying to project it onto me has nothing to do with me. You know, I'm a nice person that deserves love and respect. And if you're not going to give it to me, I'm going to give it to myself. And that's it, Pile 3. All right, Pile 4. So, the kind of love that you guys are attracting... You guys are basically taking a break from the dating because you're starting to realize that as fast as these love offerings are coming, they are not quality. It's like, it don't matter how much is coming in, you're just like, I'm, I'm really at this stage where I'm not going to keep spinning my wheels, shit. Why am I going to give myself to somebody who don't deserve me? Because, like, your love is, like, the end-all, be-all love. And you got people, like, trying to offer you this um, love where you have to keep healing from it. And it's coming so fast and furious. Even if you ain't seen it, you've been feeling it. So, 
the love that's coming for you is you are going to like really just learn how to enjoy life like outside of relationships and this is going to really open up a lot of doors for you guys especially in the financial department you're going to be able to experience what it like that high vibrational feeling of being able to pamper yourself while knowing that all of your um uh your basics are taken care of your bills is paid things like that like i'm really sensing and hearing and seeing you're responsible and still you classy and able to enjoy a luxury lifestyle and give back to yourself and be able to experience high vibrational emotions that the average individual is not yet accustomed to and this is going to be completely free of a relationship as long as you choose to. And uh, I'm really happy for y'all. All right. So love is not always of other person. And love is not always like saying, I love you, you know. Um, and it's not always a mother's love. Sometimes it's just simply bonding with your chakras. Sometimes it's simply tapping into your psychic gifts. And the love that you're attracting is basically nurturing your psychic abilities. Like, you guys really are highly psychic and very witchy. And it's really cool. In fact, you guys are going to get to know your emotions in such a really cool ass way that you are going to basically be able to like base oh i'm getting it now i'm getting it and i'm not you know basically what i said basically i said it i said it whatever <laughs> um you are going to be developing a beautiful intimate relationship with your emotions where you feel safe to be vulnerable with yourself and this is going to help you get to know your psychic abilities not like oh my gosh I'm psychic but like on some stuff where your psychic abilities feel safe like a child feels with an angel so yeah that's the love that you bringing in y'all Getting to really know your psychic abilities and your feelings and your emotions and your intentions. Like, really channeling your intentions. I hope y'all like that. But if you didn't, you didn't. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Pile 6. You are... going to face your biggest fear of what if there's not someone out here for me I know that you know there's someone out here for you but due to you having such severe trauma due to romance you might be very close off to it so And it's really because there's a lot of um, conflicting beliefs connected to the traumas you experience. A lot of illusions. So be very patient with yourself as you really just go through this process. This is one of the um, major transitions that's about to take place in your life. Where you are going to... Uh, be facing your fear. Ah. <laughs> I can feel the tension a little bit of meeting unkind people. Mm -hmm. This is pretty big for you guys because right when you least expect it at a certain aspect of your healing journey that is involving quote-unquote, underwater hotel room. I don't know what that means. Um, you'll meet someone. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs>